How's it going guys? Tech and Cloth back in with another video. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Taurus Mag Ostan case, aka the Upro case for the Samsung S24 Ultra. This is a case I'm really on the fence about because it looked so much like all the other cases that have this kind of uh, ring pop-up kickstand and, and from my experience in the past those cases didn't really hold up so well but here we are, we're gonna take a look, see if it's really worth it. Um, a lot of YouTubers seem to like this case, so uh, let's pop it open and uh, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions. So, taking a quick look at the box, it looks like it's his getting a design awards, which is a first good sign, I suppose. Um, and some features of the case, it just says uh, horizontal vertical kickstand. You could put it horizontally and vorti vertically. Um, shock mat draw protection. Again, with that military grade draw protection labeling all over um, Amazon, we'll, we'll have to see how that holds up, right? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below if you guys have any stories of this phone this case surviving uh, with any phone. I'm super interested to hear it. Anyways, uh, anti-scratch resistance. Uh, carbon neutral. That's about it on the box. Pretty actually, it's a good looking box. It's not the cheapest cardboard looking box that I've seen, but uh, not bad, so... There's any tabs here? No, no tabs. So, here we go. Right, so we have a QR code here for uh, warranty, it looks like. Yeah, warranty activations. Uh, huh, this is really impressive. It's even got their own little logo put onto this. We'll put this on the side for now. Comes in this nice little, um, I guess, protective layer of plastic. And here's the case. Let's see here. It looks really good, actually. Reminds me a lot of my, uh, the Spigen Enzo Aramid case. This is surprising. Yeah, the case has that exact same finish on the side. It's, you can't really see it through this camera, but it's, uh, it's definitely a nice finish. It's, it's grippy. It's grippy. It's exactly like what, what you get on the, the Spigen Enzo case, which is really surprising. It's kind of like a textured, almost feels like leather in a way. It's really cool, but... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging it so far. Uh, here's that kickstand. You got some Taurus branding over here. Um, again, some floating buttons. The reason why they have this is to enhance the, the clickability or, or the tactility, rather, of a case. So it's always nice to see. Nothing on the inside over here. Uh, there's no microfiber cloth, uh, I guess, because they want to make that translucent. Super good to see how this looks on the phone. Uh, other than that, you have the microphone cutouts. The uh, slightly dipped in over here for the S Pen, so that's going to be easier to come off. As well as the uh, USB Type-C and other ports there. So, without well, further ado, let's try this case on. Again, make sure it's nice and clean. It is. Titanium violet. Again, it's translucent black case. Buttons first, always. Okay, so... This doesn't have a nice click, but it's it's definitely snug when it's on there, and uh, I really like the sides already. I I think this is a win. I think I, it makes sense why this case is, is what it is. I think here in in, in Canada it's going for about forty seven ninety nine. Um, I put that around thirty nine ninety nine US. So, uh, don't quote me on that, but go ahead and take a look if you're interested. This is how it looks on the phone. So the titanium really kind of looks like a like a black under this lighting, but it's it, it really is titanium violet. Uh, here is the edges. So you have just, you have, I wanna say a tiny raised lip over here, just on the sides, so that's nice. Um, you do have a slightly more raised lip on the front as well. So the top and bottom, similar to most cases that for phones that have uh, uh, gestures on the side to go, go back and to navigate the phone with. This, this kind of has a slightly less raise than the top and the bottom. So keep that in mind if that's something that's important to you. This is not going to be a case that's going to be able to withstand some heavy-duty drops. No matter what anything says on their site, I, honestly, I, I, I've dropped this, this phone in uh, a, a rinky case that, that claimed military-grade drop protection, but I cracked on the edge over here, so... Uh, luckily, I did have a screen protector, so I was safe. But just take whatever you see on those uh, on those pictures on 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 Amazon for any cases that say military grade drop protection. Uh, it's it's not always what it seems. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. So taking more look around the case, 
accurate cutouts over here. Again, like we saw before it was on the phone. Uh, this dips in here, super easy to take out the S Pen. And overall, it's a really good feel in the hand. I really like it, it's slim. I tend to lean more towards cases that have, that kind of keep the actual aesthetic of the S24 Ultra, uh, meaning that round, the roundness over here. Um, I also did a video for the Rink Onyx uh, magnetic case, which is another case that's amazing, but it doesn't necessarily have that round feel. This one does, so this is definitely a, a, a good win in my book. Let's take a look at the big buttons here. Yeah, buttons are nice and clicky, uh, easy to press, but also gives you uh, a nice premium feel that it's not too easy to click. I don't, I don't know if you guys are anything like me. I don't like it when buttons are way too easy to click or, you know, you're trying to take a picture and then all of a sudden you're holding it by here and you took 50 pictures just because you're trying to shimmy your phone. Uh, it's not something that I typically uh, prefer. So I like that there's, it requires a little bit of force. So this is good for me. And here's that kickstand. This is uh, the main thing about the case. The case isn't see-through, it's translucent, so slightly see-through. I'm sure if you had a different color, you'd see it more, but this is that titanium violet, so um, you only really see that color here. Uh, full, for your information, this is usually supposed to be aluminum uh, or, or titanium, rather, silver around the camera module, but I do have ESR protection for it, so uh, that comes with like a black aluminum around. That's why it looks black. Just letting you guys know. So let's try this kickstand here. It's like I say, uh, stands vertically, horizontally, no issues. You could use your phone like this. It's not gonna fall over. Kickstand does completely snap into place. That feels really nice. That's good, it's so securing. It feels super sturdy. This requires quite a bit of force to move around. So it's gonna be pretty strong and slaps right in completely, completely into the phone. There's not going to be anything caught if you're putting it into your pocket. That's something I was worried about, about any cases with kickstands for that matter, but this one specifically because it's so so expensive for such a generic looking case. But the feel in the hand, I think, is this is easily one of my top cases so far. That's all I'm going to say. And this video is not sponsored. They did not send this to me. I paid for this with my own money um, for you guys to, just to give you guys an idea of what it's like. So, yeah, I, I definitely like this case. If you're looking for a case that has a... MagSafe, a kickstand, it's slim, has military grade drop protection. Um, realistically, it's going to be good for your everyday drops onto floors maybe. I would say, I would grade this through my experience with phone cases about maybe five feet of drop protection realistically, five or six feet. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a quick look at how it works with accessories. So it's supposed to be really strong with magnets. There's a Lyson uh, car mount. Snaps right on. That's crazy. That's 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 pretty. That's on there. I'm not gonna go ahead here and yeah. It's it's moving it around and as you can see, it's stuck to the to this thing here. So it's it's in it's in a pretty good spot. If you put it like your your phone this way on the dash or there, it's not gonna move around. That's good, always great to see. So that works with car mounts perfectly. And this is not the best one. This is just the uh, the nice, nicest looking one I found on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. And this is the UAG 4000 milliamp hour battery uh, charging. I guess the, what do you call these charger charging bricks? So let's see how it snaps on. Nice. Again, um, it will slightly cover this lens over here. Just keep that in mind. But it works perfectly fine. Now let's go ahead and turn it on to see how well it charges. Instantly charges as soon as you turn this thing on. So that's great. Um, again, this thing has a kickstand, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll also leave a link in the description below. I have a video uh, that I'll also link over here. And this this is a pretty dope setup. I like it. If you're someone who really needs that kickstand and you're a power user, you're definitely going to want something like this. It's really cool. Um, I bring this with me everywhere and I've used it a ton already. And I got this about a week ago, so here you guys go. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, Canada doesn't have access to any other Taurus cases for this phone specifically. I can get the Taurus cases for my 15 Pro Max. Any anyone, there's a P-Stand case, which has just, instead of a round kickstand here, it kind of comes out there. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, I can get it, but only for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, 
not the S24 Ultra. This is the only case that they can ship to Canada, actually, that I've seen through Amazon. So, um, so far, I got to say, this is a gorgeous case. It looks and feels the part. I now know why Taurus makes these cases uh, as expensive as they are. It's using premium materials. So, um, give you an example again. Uh, this is not a video for this Enzo case, but it, it feels just as good. If not, maybe even slightly better. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that. This still has the metal button, so it's going to take the cake as premium case. But I had to go put a MagSafe ring here that I had to purchase with this, actually. So, I mean, um, all-arounder, where you don't have to buy this ring, I definitely obviously go for this case because I use MagSafe now. It's a part of my everyday life, so... I'm going to be rocking this one out for quite a bit of time as my daily, you know, just going to and from the office and and going out on social uh, social events. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried the other Taurus cases, let me know. Should I pick some up for the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Do videos on those. Um, if you guys have the P10 case for this, let me know how that goes in the comment section down below. Um, again, super good case. Highly recommend it. You can find this on Amazon. Just type in the Torres um, magnetic kickstand case and this thing will pop up for your S24 Ultra. Again, if you like the video, um, make sure you leave that like. It really helps the channel grow and gives me a better chance to get more content in for you guys. All kinds of things, tech, heritage clothing. And if you're interested in all that, also subscribe so you don't miss another video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.